Hey guys, it's your boy Hamza Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and today, this go I'm gonna do this straight up live. I got the camcorder in my hand, so I don't care. So, so from Instagram, one of my subscribers texted me about. She texted me basically about how I make my reaction videos. So, I promised her that Wednesday I will make a video about it. So here, here we go today. So, without further ado. Let's get in the video. So, and just to recap, right right now, you see, I got my, that's my arm, that's literally my arm, my hand that, well, I'm basically holding the camcorder right, right up to my hand, so, I'm going to show you how I literally do it. So, so the first thing I basically do is like, like the first thing you're going to need for capturing the video you're going to react to is like a screen recorder so for anybody who use windows 10 who has a windows 10 laptop or so you basically just go to the one right down here the the xbox game bar because that basically just records everything that you that you have in the back like have as your desk like your youtube and so and so because it won't be able to so and for whenever you're edit, like you're gonna edit your videos, right? You just go to a app, app call. I downloaded an app called Flim, Flim Fort. That's basically like getting audio, edit, PIP, picture in picture, and audio. So those four things I mostly need, right? So that's good. So I basically click here. You see it up there. All right, so these are basically how many videos, right? These are basically videos. There were more of these, but I had I had to like uninstall and reinstall it because every time when I was trying to open it up, it got clicked off immediately. So there were more of these. Trust me. So what I basically do, all right? So for so let's see for all right so i'll open up one of them so i'll open up the one with lecrae sunday morning featuring kirk franklin by the way if you haven't seen that video yet go check it out but all right all right so here you see now for whenever i'm making i'm gonna do the edit one right i basically like put up i basically have four videos I have to put up for it the intro my intro the video my me reacting to it the video that is recording and then my outro and so those are four videos I need to put up so here so this first thing you see here hold up let me put my hand up right, so this first video you see here like right here that's my outro Right. Sorry, I had to plug out the headphones I had because it was in the way. It was blocking it. So that's that one right there. That's my outro. Hey guys, it's your boy Homie Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video. And today, yeah. so I basically just so right there, I just basically give out my intro and so on. So like talk about and so on how what the video is gonna be, what's the name of it, and so on. So. So I'm gonna just fast forward. So right down here, you, you, you see those five little buttons right there. I mean, I don't much care about the effects, but I'm mostly concerned about these. Well, actually, I did it. I said it wrong, but either way, you know what I mean by these. So the picture-in-picture picture one. So basically, whenever I'm gonna like react. This is what I'm mostly saying. Segue into this, so we about to check this lyrical video, lyric video out. So, without further ado. So, once once I say without further ado, I make sure I get the video that I'm reacting to. So and plus, whenever the re video I'm reacting to, whatever the video that's been recorded, I always shorten it down to as soon as when I press play on it. But then, once it's alright, saying like a minute. Saying like the video I recorded was five minutes, right? 
come up to five minutes of it right and it I'll start the play button at immediately 1 30 right I record I make sure I go back two seconds before it so that way whenever I say without further ado it starts right there gives me like two seconds and so and so and I say without further ado let's get into the video and as soon as when I say let's get into the video as soon as when it comes up to let's get into the video it immediately I put it right there between without further ado and let's get into the video so that way the video itself it come the video syncs up with what I'm reacting to and so so you're going to see it right here so let's get into the video so some and sometimes it works sometimes it don't but you really got to time how you're going to put it up because sometimes when you when you don't finish editing and so and so it doesn't come out how it is so you gotta make sure that whenever you say what I've heard do you pause it right there I pause it right there and then put the video in it so as you see right there so once I said like segue into this so we about to check this lyrical video, video out so without further ado pause it right there and make sure the video I have has put it up move it up right there put click set start and put it right about there so that way when I say without further when I say without further ado and then boom it clicks into then it comes up and then it syncs up with it so right there I said without further ado video out so without further ado let's get into the video so like right there like right there it syncs up with it so that way it, you can, I can not only because sometimes whenever I'm going to react to it right remember so I got the headphones on so I'm going to not one minute I'm hearing that but I'm still but I'm still hearing the sound in my headphones like what I mean like you can still you can like still hear the sound you can hear the sound in my headphones so yeah you can hear that but you can mostly still hear the sound in my headphones so I make sure I sync it up so Whenever I'm done with that, I just come off, put my outro right there, and the music what I have. And then I click save video. And then you can choose the video quality you want. You can, you can choose 480, 720, or 1080. But me personally, I just want to make sure. I don't want it like, you can, I mean, I can choose to get it crispy and all that, but... I just like it average okay so I basically just put 720 and click save but I already did the I already have a video of that out and it's on my channel right now so yeah alright so like how that's con like how that's done right whenever now when it's gonna say like exporting video now so that takes about a lot of t that takes some water for a lot of time so when I'm done with that all I can do is like that's this is when now I make my thumbnail and so that way you can see my reaction to the videos and so and so so like alright so for whenever I'm making the thumbnails now I basically take the thumbnail from the video I'm reacting to and make it my in a way make it my own and so and so so here's what I do so I go to a new tab Alright, and I go to click and I go to this one right here where it says get video get YouTube video thumbnail image you can click you can you can basically go on Google and search up about YouTube th get how to get YouTube thumbnail and so on so on and it will show you a lot of things but this is how I personally do it so I basically save up this and then I basically and the tab I'm going to get alright saying for this video right here right I basically click on the click on the link address of it drag it right over here and put it right there and then click get YouTube thumbnail and then it takes a long time to come up and so cause but and then there you go right there what I do is just 
I just click. I just click. right click on it. Click save image. And there you can just put all right and I'm and it's more and I mostly put it at the documents part so yeah it's whatever I, but I can but as long as I put it in caps which video which like picture it is and so it's cool so it's at documents right now so right here I just put like cool right just put cool right click save and there right there in the bottom it saves it so then I go to do go to file explore <coughs> sorry I just I'm so hungry right now I'm thirsty so yeah then I go to documents and where and the video is and the thumbnail and the picture is right here so the thumbnail from the other video is right here yeah so then now I just go to then now whenever I want to make the thumbnail like I mostly like title the thumbnail and so and so so that way in a way that way you can know what it is like for most videos right you see like you are you see the title in the video below right but for whenever I write so like if you subscribe to me and so yeah you can see the thumbnail you can like see the title and so and so but I want to make sure that you see how I react to it and how I feel about it and so and so so I go to spark Adobe or you can use any other type of thumbnail making or you can just go download one of the desktop on your Windows 10 and so and so but I mostly like use spark Adobe this is just one of them I just use the other one is spark Adobe for my laptop for me personally I use first I use spark Adobe then I use another one for the windows for from windows 10 and it's called paint 3d so I'm gonna show you what it is so right now I'm on spark Adobe right now I click on now since I want to make up a new thumbnail and so right I just click on custom size graphic and then it gonna show up a whole lot of this but then but some of the times the stuff that comes on it it actually is a good message it's like it's a way to make your videos look more ex interested and so so that way people can come back to watch your videos more often and so and by the way sorry that I forgot to mention that it's all orange in here it's just that my lamp over there is on but hey for me personally I whenever I'm doing videos like this yeah it's like this I got a tripod on now but I want to make sure whenever I'm making videos it's from me this how I do it so I don't care what anybody else do it I'm doing it how I do it all right so now for selecting a size so since you want the thumbnail you go to social posts go to social posts right here and click on YouTube thumbnail which is right here right click on next then it gonna say about this and that intro and remember that the video is that Aris. and if you have a Windows 10 laptop or so make sure that if you're gonna save a vi like save a picture or so of the thumbnail from the video you were recording from the video you're reacting to sorry you can just put up make sure you, you can want to put it on documents or download either way make sure you remember what and put a title make sure and put a title that you can remember right all right so right here now the pic the picture is gonna come right here so how in order to add it you just click add put photo sorry about that that was my phone click upload All right, so let's go to documents, and here's the title, and here's the thumbnail that I just got earlier. So click that one, and you can choose between putting it 
paint your background or move freely. So basically, I like, so since I want them, because most I know how some YouTubers mostly put them first, like put their big pit, put them big picture first, and then the video they're reacting to in a little small box or so. But me personally, this is how me I basically just put it, put the thumbnail on the background. So I basically put pin background. And there you see it right there, right? And it always shows how the title is and so on, so and it's whatever, right? So and now here's and the thing is, and if I want to add like a text to it and so on, so I can, but since that's already have a title on it, so so I'm not going to. And and a little side note, for if you're using Adobe Spark, right? And you don't and make sure just to remove this watermark on it, right? So that way, I don't think you'll get a copyright or whatever. I don't know. So, but I mostly just make sure I click off of that. Make sure I remove that thing off of it. Just one time. You can do it. No matter how many times you're gonna make your videos and so and so, you can click off of it just one times and just like that, it's gone. So. And you can title it alright so this one just like how it says I'm just put WWE and that's it right and when you go and click download you can pick PNG or JP or PDF but since that's in beta I mostly just focus on these two but I mostly for all my videos just go on the PNG one so I click start download And right there it's already been downloaded so right now at that point I'm just gonna like pick all right so whenever now when I'm making the thumbnail now like oh that that's one part of the thumbnail that's done right the other part is my reaction to it so what I mostly do is go to one of the camcord recordings I did pick a certain one pick like a certain screenshot I can use clip it like clip it out and then put my my reaction on that on the first part of the thumbnail so like for this instance right since I put that one right since it's like alright so for like that one saying it's like most what again like it says WWE top most OMG and so and so so right there you can pick for anyone right so for this one since it's about OMG you can put like this one right like for saying deep or so pause on that but like this right so I basically click right click on that and here's the one I was talking about the paint 3d one so that way so that one now it basically like gives me an option to like do with a one with a video you can like clip the person like myself out of it and put it on a sticker and so so that's what I'm gonna do so I hope it shows it all right so here we go so so here I click on magic select where I basically gonna clip out like clip out my like your clip out certain objects and so and rip it out of it so like I want to get my face like my initial body and so and face out of my reaction from it I'm gonna do that so there so here I'm gonna just click an area which is just basically this part just me right here but here's where it gets good so I click on next so here's the thing now if I want to add something to it, I can't. But if I want to, but if I'm gonna remove some, so since I just want to get like me right here, I just click on remove. Just draw like an arrow right here. And yeah, you can see it's blocked. But keep on drawing it until when it's just reach up to you. So wait, just a little right here. So right there, it's just me. And right here, click up here. Keep doing it. 
and then wait and then boom you see that's just only me right there nothing else so once you're done with once you're satisfied with how it looks just click done all right and you can just drag it out and look it looks good right everything there is perfect and it's all at night and such so make sure you click on it, click on it, drag it out of it, and just click on this one that says make sticker. So that way, no matter what happens, it can stay a sticker. So you can put it as any, like any material, like so. It can, you, for paint 3D, you can choose material, gloss, dull, polish, and so. But I mostly just make it stay on material. So now when it comes to the canvas itself, right, I don't want to make it stay there so what I do is click on canvas options and I try to resize it like do something like this move it down and so and so like right there right it's good now for if I want all of this area right here so if I want all of that area to be gone all I just do is click on mark click on the paint book on fill for Basically, I click on brushes first. Brushes, but sorry, it's like I said, I'm hungry, so I can't speak right now. So, whenever I'm hungry, I can't speak well. But <clears throat> basically, I click on brushes, click this one here, the bucket, which is fill. Make sure it's all the way up to you can put at 98 or 90 or so, as long as it fills up the entire thing. And I mostly use the black one. So, click on the entire screen and it goes black like that now here's where I put go to stickers and there you see me right there right one of me right now what I said before about the first part of the thumbnail is the video thumbnail from what I was recording right so I click on add sticker there's gonna show up the ones I've done so click on this one which is the WWE one I just did and open it from there it's, you're gonna see how it is so you can move it up and down you can try to resize it like right here like this you can resize it how you want like all right so I'm gonna do it like this make sure it cuts up Cause I want to make sure it covers up, cover up every other spot, right? And boom, right? That's one part of it. Now I add my cell phone to it. Make sure I resize it down. Make sure I like resize it down so like tend to get it right there. All right. right? So I put it right there so that way you can still see the the first part of it and then my reaction. But I want to make sure I react, clip it down, so make sure it's like size down a little bit so that way you can see the other video. So from there I just click on menu, sorry, just click on menu and that way you can like save it and so then click on save as and I put image and for whenever you're making thumbnails and so for like file explorer right for Windows 10 right if you want to make sure you have a file where you can have all your, your all the thumbnails you made and so go into that specific one so that's what that's what I did. Just create a file, create a thumbnail file, like a thumbnail folder, sorry, and then put all of them there. So that's what I did. So here's of the others that I've already made in the past. So I just make sure I click on the thumbnail one because I I can't be sure, and I just put it there, and I could just title it the same. Way. And I put how I make my reaction videos and so on and so on. And that's how I basically. And whenever I'm going to put the title of it. I always put the title of the same video that I had. That I recorded to on it. So 
Now go with this. Click on that. And back here. Go to thumbnail. And there you go. It saves right about from here. And right there. As you can see right there, it saves it, so I'm good right there. But and you can click it up. Yeah, and sometimes I don't save it, so I just click save. But yeah. And yeah, that's basically how the end of the video is. That's how basically it is, guys. So let me know what you think of it. Vinny Boy Homiziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.